Hey, hello, everybody, and thanks for joining me today. I am Jim Coppinger with Zentech Consultants. I want to welcome you all to our The Real Way to Link Bluebeam Review and Microsoft Excel presentation. Appreciate you guys being here. Um, general housekeeping items before we jump in here. Uh, number one, because of public forum, we do keep uh, all students or you know attendees, rather, I guess, uh, microphones and telephones muted throughout. Um, but I have a lot of time at the end of the class for uh, questions. All right, so when we get to the end of the presentation today, I'll read those out and, and answer whatever questions you guys send in. But please feel free to make use of the chat box or the questions box and just let me know what you guys are thinking as we go through today's presentation. All right, so I'm going to go through a couple of quick slides all right, and then we'll get into what we're here to talk about today. Just a reminder that for those of you who have not worked with us before, we are Zentech consultants and we specialize in the architecture, engineering, and construction space. We're here to help you with all of your technologies, design related, construction related, project management, estimating and a whole lot more. So I hope you guys take a few minutes, hit our website and see all the good things that we have to offer for you. All right, so what are we here to talk about today, right? So we're talking about the idea of the proper way to set up and work with the uh, Bluebeam Review quantity linking tool, right? And the, the idea is that it allows you to connect Bluebeam Review to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet so that as you're doing your, your quantity takeoffs in Bluebeam, that those values, the lengths, the areas, the volumes, the counts, et cetera, are being passed in real time directly to Bluebeam Excel. Um, and I've done a lot of presentations on this in the past and show people the basics of how to use it, but there's there's a disconnect on, on practical application for this. And that's really what I wanna focus on in today's presentation, right? The, the best way to be able to do this over and over again on every one of your projects, right? People kinda, like I said, in some of my earlier presentations, folks have, have used them quite extensively, but they can't quite make this a repeatable process on every one of their jobs and that's what i want to try and help you guys with today all right so with that said it is demo time right so we're going to go ahead and i'm going to go in and jump over here into actually you know what i'm going to go to bluebeam review and microsoft excel all right so you know the first thing like i said you know what why is it hard to repeat this all right going from from project to project the idea uh is, is a very simple right that i can take any cell in Excel, and you see I've got Excel on the left and I've got Bluebeam open over here on the right. And I can just go ahead and I can right click and I can go to the quantity link and I can create a link, right? And I can create a link between any file that I'm connected to. I can I can tie to a different file, right? Read from any PDF and, and read any of the values in terms of square footage and structure and so on. Where I think people most often struggle with this is the idea that they have to go in. And if you've got, you know, you can see I've got a very, very shortened list. Uh, but to have to go in and actually, you know, for every single item that you have, and you may have, you know, a few thousand items, right, in your takeoff, to, to have to go in and do that on every single cell, on every single item, on every single job, kind of destroys the whole concept of productivity and functionality that we're really striving for with this type of work. Um, so what I'm going to take you through here is, is kind of the overview of how you do this so that it will work no matter what you do, okay, so that it automates the process. Um, so what I want to show you is I've got this this simple set of tools. So you know I, I have a set of tools over here, and that's really the the, the primary function here. Um, when you're trying to set this up for repeatable use, the first thing that you want to do is you want to invest the time, the money, the effort into building a set of tools. Okay, a predefined set of tools that you're going to use on every single job. This quantity linking process is really not something that you're going to want to do on the fly. You don't want to try and use it using standard Bluebeam you know, the, the, the markup and takeoff tools, right? you don't want to use standard length, poly length area perimeters for this. They're too generic. What you want to do is define your own sets of tools that use those basic functionalities, right, in order to give you the information that you want. So just kind of show you what I'm doing here. So you see I've got, um, using this tool set, right, what I did is start off with the sidewalk, right? And now what I have over here is a basic sidewalk up here at the top that I've already put in place. And I've already actually created a link Right, between this page, right, which we're going to call our master PDF, right, here. And up here, I have an Excel spreadsheet that I'm calling my master takeoff. And that's a really important concept in, in terms of what we're talking about today. The idea of creating these masters. And these masters are really just templates. They're, they're predefined files so that you can create the connections, right, so that they're already in place. So my master takeoff is already linked to this master PDF and just to show you if I click over here right on my um, sidewalk you can see that I got the sidewalk line here on line seven you see right now it's showing six square feet which is what it's showing over here and you can see if I just go in and stretch this out 
you see that in real time, see it's updating as I'm making changes from the master PDF. I, and that's what we want. All of these, right? I'm just going to undo those here in, in the PDF. All of these items, right? So my foundations, right? So my foundation, when I go and I update that, right? You can see up here, excavated foundation, I'm up to 14 cubic yards, 31 cubic yards, right? And as I undo those values, they're being pushed directly to my master template. Now, that's great. And it's a good thing. But the problem that I have right now is that I'm, I'm dealing with two master folders or, or files, right? I got the master template and I've got the master PDF. So the idea then is once you've done this and you create all the tools that you need, right, for different types of, of work, site work and steel and structure and, and anything that you need, you create this master PDF and you create the links and you save both of those. And my recommendation for this is to save both of these into a read only network location once they're built and set what you don't want is anybody to mess with them right you don't want anybody breaking the links and, and changing things because you're going to take the time to take this item and you're going to link it to the corresponding the correct object right the correct cell that you have listed in your master excel spreadsheet okay which is what i've done you see the ones that i have here in gray these have already kind of been you know pre-linked and like i said just going back real quick um when you create those links it's just as simple as going in and picking I right, see the length, the area, the volume, the wall area from the file that we're connected to, which right now is that master PDF, right? So if I want to go in and do the width of a specific item, see, I can use different subjects and labels. So if I need the width of certain beams, columns, doors, whatever I have in that PDF, I'll be able to link to, okay? So how do we do this in a practical process, right? So I've got the masters built. I built my master uh, worksheet and I got my master PDF. I created all the tools, right? And they're all linked and connected. This is all good. But now what I've gotten is a new project. I have a new PDF. This is a new building plan. We got in from, you know, Jody Architect, and I have to do a takeoff on this, right? There are no tools. There's nothing in here yet. That's okay because here's the way this whole process works. And like I said, it's, it's the practical application we all seem to be missing. Um, you can go ahead and just open up this master takeoff. Okay? And what you're going to want to do with that, again, it's coming read only from your network location. I'm just going to do file and save a copy. Okay. okay? And you can go ahead and browse that out to wherever you need to put it. And I'm just going to put it in my uh, example class here today. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to call this, uh, turn on my caps lock here. We'll just call it project takeoff. Okay. Instead of the master, I'm just making a copy of that master saving it to the project and i'm just calling it and you can put your project number name this however you want i'm just calling it the project takeoff file okay so i'm gonna go ahead and let that save okay so there you go so other than the name which you can see up here now the name of this file has changed everything else still looks the same it's still reading at the moment all of the information from here right so as i go in and i change the values right see that all those values are still updating over here so it goes from five to ten I'm just gonna kind of go back here and undo that, right back to my six, right? So everything's still linked. So what was the point of that? Well, here's the point. All I have to do now is tell this project takeoff spreadsheet to stop reading from the master PDF and start reading from the new project plan. So all I have to do is I can just right click anywhere in Excel, go to quantity linking, and you see one of the options I have here is the source file. I can actually change the source PDF or PDFs, by the way, I can bring in, if you've done takeoffs in 40 or 50 different separate PDFs, I can add them all here and it will read all of these tools, all these files from all of those as well. So right now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the master PDF from this list. Right? And I'm going to add my new project plan and say, okay, now watch all the values. They all go to zero. Why do they go to zero? Because there's nothing in this master PDF yet. I just got this from the architect. I haven't started any type of takeoff or work here. Okay. And that's exactly what it should do. Now, this is kind of almost the, the, the alarm that lets you know, hey, yep, everything's working. We're connected properly. There are no values for any of this site work stuff in here. So now if I go in and I go to my tool set, right? And this is where I go back to what I said in the beginning, we want to make sure we've got a, a consistent tool set that we're going to use on every single project, same sets of tools. So now I can just go in and I can say, okay, let's put in a sidewalk in here. And I'm going to go in and say, look, we're going to do a sidewalk. It's going to go along the edge of the building here. Oops, sorry. Delete that. Um, I double click there somehow. 
slow it down. There we go. I'm gonna go from here. There we go. Out to here. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball in the sidewalk here. I'm not really gonna get real particular, just trying to get it in place. Right? And I can come up to here and over. And you say, okay, this is where our sidewalk's gonna go. There's the sidewalk, right? I put it in, it's 1,922 square feet. You see what happened? I haven't even hit the save button. I haven't done anything. Every tool that I use over here. So if I want to go in, I want to put in a curb and gutter and say, okay, on this side, we're going to run a curb and gutter, right? That's going to run across our sidewalk from here to here. Here's our curb and gutter, right? And you see it's listing the values. Oh, I need to go in and start putting in, we're going to put some trees over here to kind of screen this. See, it's counting how many trees there are. And the great thing about this is that all of these, you see that all of my costs and pricing and the formulas, as these change, everything downstream is kind of, I got some crazy numbers going in here in terms of, of the math. Just ignore that. I just do some rough numbers in there for, you you know, hours and how many hours it would take to do everything. Um, but the idea is, like I said, if I go in and I adjust the sidewalk and say, hey, you know what, this sidewalk, I didn't go all the way in. See, right now it's costing four, 480 grand for the sidewalk. That's a really expensive sidewalk. Um, but when I move it in, now, you know, that extra little bit is going to cost me another $3,200, right? So all of your work, all your estimating can happen just automated in real time, simply by developing the proper set of tools for all of your end users, right? Explaining to them how to open up and save that master workbook as the project-based workbook, and then just go in and start doing your takeoffs and everything's happening in real time, full automation. That's the real power of quantity linking that I think all of us are actively looking for, right? But that we've always struggled. Like I said, so many of us learn how to do it doing the basic, you know, quantity link one cell at a time. It really is about building yourself a master PDF where you take all the tools and you see, I've just put all the different tools for site work in here. Just make, oh, there's nothing else in this drawing, right? It's just a master PDF where I've got these items so that I can link to that master PDF in my master Excel spreadsheet. So all I do with that, and once those are connected and created, I'm good to go. That's everything you need to do, okay? So that's what I wanted to show you today, all right? So with that said, let me go ahead and jump back over here to uh, our spreadsheet here and take a little time. I got a couple of questions coming in. Uh, so let's see what we got. So I got a question from Kellen. Uh, Kellen wants to know, where do I get the tools to use for this? Uh, couple of ways that you can get those you know number one you can you can actually go in and if you know how to use bluebeam you know how to build your own custom tools from takeoff items you can build them yourself or i will put in the plug here and tell you that this is a a service that zentech offers um we literally do hundreds of these every year developing custom tool sets for just this type of work for our clients um and if you guys are interested and want to learn more about that you can hit our website we've got a whole page that you know dedicated to developing you know custom bluebeam tools and so on okay um, what other question? I got a question from Nadia. Uh, Nadia wants to know, can I, ex can I connect Excel formulas and other data tabs to use these values? Um, yeah, absolutely. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Like I said, if you notice here, as I was making those changes in those updates, right, the, the cells that we link to are linked to other formulas, right? So you see that this cell, for example, here is just taking whatever result is in this, this B7 field right here, right, right where I am multiplying it by two and then that is being multiplied by the hourly rate down here at the end right and i can even have these read from other data tabs for preset pricing so if you got like an rs means or, or something like that where you're bringing in all of your pricing data absolutely you can do that um all right i got a question from kane um how do i find or add the quantity link that you pulled up in excel by right clicking in a cell um actually it should be there, and if it's not, it's because you do not have the Bluebeam Extreme version, Kane. Um, that's usually the case with that. That is the one thing. In order to do this, you do need to have the Bluebeam Extreme. The quantity linking only comes with the Bluebeam Extreme setup, okay? Um, and if you guys need to upgrade, if you don't have that, uh, I'm gonna give you some contact information here at the end. We're, we're you know, Bluebeam partners and resellers, and we can get you guys pricing on upgrading yourselves to uh blue beam extreme so they that this will all be there and, and working and functional for you good question um to do and question from jose how do i link a new excel sheet to blue beam to start using this exactly the same way Jose. like i said if you go in i'm just going to real quick here uh open up a uh, a blank excel form 
wait for it to come up. Oh, of course, it came up on my other screen. Give me one minute. I got to find a way to move it over here. Hold on. There we go. All right. So you see that this one now I'm just going to pull it. It's completely blank. All right. You can just go in and either take an existing Excel spreadsheet or a blank one like I have here. And if I say, okay, I'm going to start with this cell and I want to link this cell to the master PDF, I can just right click and you see I'm just going to create a link. All right. And all I have to do is just add a file. There's my master PDF. Okay. All right. And then when I say, okay, it says, okay, now what do you want to, in that cell, what do you want to see? So in that cell, I want to get, um, you know, we'll, we'll grab the, uh, the volume of anything that has the label, right? Foundation. And you see, just like that, there's my foundation. There's the link value. And as that gets changed, see? So that's how you would link to that, Jose. Um, Another question from, from Kane, what happened between Excel and Bluebeam when you've got a PDF plan set that has more than one page? That actually comes back to exactly what we were saying uh, earlier, Kane, when you go in here and you go to quantity link the source files, I can add entire folders. I can add dozens and dozens of files. So if you've got 15 or 20 different PDFs in your plan set that you need to do takeoffs on, you can just add them all to this list. I say I can go in here, I can add other files. I can put the new project plan in here as well. Now, when I do that and I, and I change the values in both of those files for the foundation, right? So just to show you now, if I go to the plan set, I'm just going to copy this um, over here. I right? see that it automatically changed to 21. See two different plans. I'm getting the, the cumulative results from both plans in the same cell. So if I've got this same foundation takeoff across 20 plans, I can handle all of that, okay? So that's the way that works. Okay, um, and let's see. Uh, looks like I already answered a couple of these other questions. Okay, good, perfect. Yep, and everybody has, you know, a, yeah, a number of folks are saying that they've got review, but not the extreme version. And that's not a problem, right? Because we can help you with that. Like I said, we are Premier Bluebeam partners, resellers, developers. Um, we can help you with everything and anything along this process. So, um, you know, if you guys need to upgrade to get the extreme version so you can do this, just shoot us an email to sales at zentechconsultants.net or call the number on screen and we'll be happy to get you guys all fixed up. Other than that, I hope you guys got some good info today. Hope you learned what you were hoping to, all right? And I'll talk to you all next time. Have a great day, everybody.